this is a season that you're really going to have to show God your faith. Show God what it is that you really believe in. Is you believe in him or you believe in what's happening in your life? This is not the time to walk away from your vision, to walk away from your dream or the promises of God. Yes, you've been working at this thing for such a long time. You've been fasting. You've been praying. You've been waiting. You done persevered. You done been holding on for such a long time. You done been believing all of this time, but it seemed like something that will not just break so that you can receive that breakthrough, right? So that you can receive that promise. But God said, the very moment that you stop doing it the way you're doing it and try another door and try another avenue, go by doing it a different way. That's when you're going to show God your faith. And that's when the breakthrough is going to happen. That's when you're going to receive that big break that you have been waiting for. Remember the story in the Bible about the paralyzed man and his two friends was taking him to see Jesus when the power of healing was upon Jesus. But then here go all the other towns, Jerusalem, Judea, in Galilee, all the people from all of those towns were gathering up to see Jesus because they wanted healing too, right? And so therefore, it was impossible for they to take this paralyzed man on a bed and make it all the way up to Jesus so that he can get healed. But see, they didn't give up right there. They had the faith that if they climbed up on this rooftop and let him down through the till to meet Jesus, to see Jesus, he was going to receive his healing. And he did. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, man, your sins has been forgiven you. And just like God healed him, God is just saying, do not give up right now. Do not give up on your promise because just take another rate. And God said, he will heal you the same way. He will heal your finances. He will heal your body. Whatever it is that you believe in God for, God will do it. Just don't give up just because you've been trying it so long this one way. God said, wherever there's a will, there's a way. Amen. God said, don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your visions. This is not the time or the place to be giving up on God because you're too far. You done came too far. Do not give up and do not give in to the what the enemy wants you to give in to amen keep walking a straight path with god keep trying to build that business keep trying to write that book keep trying to start that ministry whatever it is that god has told you is gonna happen and it's gonna happen and you may be saying at the moment like none of this what i'm dealing with at the moment what i'm facing at the moment don't seem like my dreams whatever it is that's being presented to me don't look like what i prayed for and so you may not be understanding where it is that you are in your life right now. But I want to tell you, wherever you are, God is in it with you. Amen. So don't be feeling like God then just left you hanging or God then put you in a bad position to where it, you 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 don't uh want to give up on everything that he have ever told you because God is going to show up just the way that he promised you. But you're going to have to show God your faith in this season. It's time for you to go ahead and show God your faith. Show God that you are strong. Show God that you are mighty in him. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, go ahead and rejoice and praise God. Because just as soon as you take that other door, that other route, that's when something is going to break off in your life that you never thought that it would. The things that you was praying for, the things that you was asking God for is way bigger than it. The other day, God said he has sent double for the trouble that his children have went through. So take the other door so that you can receive your double. Where there's a will, there's a way. So just look for that other way, amen. And God said the only reason why the door probably been closing because that's not the way that he wanted you to take. My God, he says in his word in the book of Job, it says, for he knows the way that I take. And when he has tried me, I shall come forth this goal. So if you have been being tried, if you've been being tried right now, God said, you're going to come forth that's goal, amen. So you just going to have to continue trusting in God and take the other way, amen. Where there's a will, there's a way. So show God your faith in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you for each and every person, Lord God, that comes across this video. Father God, I ask that you strengthen every person, heart and mind, Lord God, so they can receive you in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your promises. Just because one way didn't work, Lord God, don't mean another way would not work. So Father God, help us, Lord God, to find that way, Lord God, find that door so that our blessings can break off in our life, Lord God, for our promises can break off in our life, Lord God. May your spirit, Lord God, continue to rest upon us in Jesus' name. 
Show us the way that we shall take, Lord God. Guard our feet, Lord God, and the places that we should go, Lord God. Repl replace, Lord God, the uh, wicked mindset, Lord God. Replace, Lord God, the bad thinking. Lord God, help us to change our perspective of what's happening in our life, Lord God. Continue to show us you, Lord God. Show us your salvation, Lord God. May we receive the joy, Lord God, that we have been waiting for and asking for, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove all pride, Lord God, all spirits of wanting to give up. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. We will continue to stand firm on God's promises and on God's word because we know that he is a man and he cannot lie. He is not son of man that he shall repent. And we know that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. So the things that you did for Abraham, God, we know that you are doing for us the things that you did for Jacob, God. We know that you are doing for us the things that you did for Isaac, Lord God. We know that you are doing for us the things that you done for Daniel, Lord God. We know that you are doing for us the things that you did for Esther, God. We know that you are doing for us. And so, Lord God, we receive you in your fullness in this season, whether we look at it as good or bad, but Lord, Lord God, help us to see the glory in it so that we can continue glorifying and honoring your name, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove all the naysayers and negative activity, Lord God, that's coming our way. And Lord God, help us to step into a different dimension in our relationship with you, a different dimension, Lord God, in our knowledge, Lord God, of truth, Lord God. And so, Lord God, your word tell us we shall worship you in spirit and in truth. So, Lord God, this is our sign of worship about keeping walking a straight path with you when things are not going our way. So, Father God, you get the uh, glory out of all things, Lord God. And may we learn what it is that we need to learn, Lord God, and be who you need need us to be in Jesus name. Provide us with the things that we need to make it to where you are sending us, God. In Jesus name. And I decree and declare that's done. Y'all have a blessed day.